presenting our national officials for this match. First referee, Mr. Bobby Celso. Second referee, Mr. Ryan Vincent Corpus. Let's welcome our starting lineup from our Farm Fresh Foxies. Let's begin with our team captain. She wears jersey number seven, Louis Romero. At number four, Caitlin Virai. Wearing jersey number nine, Kate Noril Santiago. At number 12, Trisha Gale Tubu. Number 13, April Stagsip. At number 16, Riza Andrea Cruz. Starting libero is number 17, Janelle Delerio. Head coach, Mr. Jerry Yi. Calling on our Signal HD Spikers. They're led by their team captain who wear jersey number seven, Frances Senia Molina. At number two, Rosalind Doria. Wearing jersey number five, Vanessa Gandler. At number 18, Marevic Galen Meneses. Number 21, Jovelin Gonzaga. And number 22, Maria Angelica Cayuna. Starting libero is number 16, Don Nicole Catindig. Head coach, Mr. Cesael Shaq de los Santos. This match is under the supervision and regulation of the Games and Amusement Board. Match number 41. Presenting the starters for the Farm Frex Fresh Foxies in this game. Again, this is very interesting because Kyla did mention the changes in positions already for some of their players. Trisha Tubu will be a middle blocker in today's outing. Kate Inverai will be an outside hitter. And Riza Cruz will be an opposite spiker. On the other end for the Signal HE spikers, it's the usual names for them in usual positions. So it's Doria, Gonzaga, Gander, Meneses, Molina, Makandili, Katindig, and Cayuna for Signal HD, but we have to go back to Farm Fresh, Jamie, because of these changes in positioning. That being said, seeing them for the first time in this formation, do you have some early expectations for this game? I feel like uh, Trisha Tubu in the middle will work because she's very quick. She does not have to set uh, to have specific middle blocking attacks like a quick attack. She can do a press in the middle. So we also see with Farm Fresh, we'll have two opens that are lefty in Kate Santiago and Kaylin Rye. And I like the timing of this as well, Mix, because they had a break during the uh, Holy Week. They were able to experiment, and let's see if this will benefit in their favor. Well, their first attack came from Kate Santiago. Unfortunately, the ball sailed outside. So now Jelka Yuna, three-time best setter in the PVL and currently number one in that category, doing the honors. Hilario with the first ball. Here's Kate. Tipping it over, a good chance for Signal. Pandili Katindig to Jovelin Gonzaga, going cross, and that went out. That's the right intent for Jovelin Gonzaga going in that zone too. She is also a lefty opposite spiker, so she can be very crafty with her movements and going for that sharp cross. It is the default. If you're a lefty, you should feel comfortable at the right pin, and it would be harder to try to block those attackers as Cayuna sets up. Cess Molina, who should be used to that angle as well. Cess Molina, she has really come into her own this year for Signal because Rachel Dacus is not here. She has to be that other leader to fill in her shoes. But I also like seeing the growth as well of Cess Molina. She's more vocal as well and also leading by example. And she is the leading scorer of Signal HD, number six in the league and had 19 points in the previous outing as Fanny Gander gets her first point. And Fanny Gander, we were teammates also in Ateneo in college. And just her leap, her elevation, and the smarts has gained so much in the past years. And also in terms of strength and conditioning, she also does extra work, which just goes to show her passion for the sport. Later on, I'll let you break down that extra work even more for us <laughs> as we continue. Gonzaga met at the net. And she scores off the block. Jelka Yuna has a lot of options. She has Gandler, Doria, who has not hit the ball yet, but 
Jovelin Gonzaga. She is a very reliable veteran opposite here on the right pin. Signal HD now up four to one. This is a good start for them. Molina sending it in. A miss received. Now Caitlin Virai will give up a chance ball. Jov, Gel, Gonzaga, yes. Smooth sailing on the side of the Signal HD spikers and I mean, we're now heading to a timeout here called by Coach Derry. Just, just stretch. Just stretch. Then, get. Okay. Now, Mark, we have practice do the stretch. No, stretch. Don't change. Okay? Change the change. Well, Yes, okay. Sub cut is okay. Reception is okay. The block is a little cross. 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 Well, back in Ateneo Mix, we would travel to Japan to play against the best. And what we noticed with the Japanese system, very disciplined. They pay attention to the small details, which is also defense and setting and receiving. All the qualities it takes to be a good volleyball team. And I like how, well, on your screens there, Cesc Molina with that service ace right in that corner pocket of zone one. But back to the Japanese system, this is where they have to pay attention to detail and be disciplined. But from the looks of it, they are doing much better compared to their last match against the PLD high-speed hitters. And we also have to remember that it was that Japanese team in our invitational conference that won the championship for the Shigia Blaze. So they are definitely very credible. One of their assistant coaches back then is now an assistant That's for right. Farm Fresh. Good serve, Vanny Gander. Down the line target. Ball up by Farm Fresh. Dubu couldn't score. Louis back set onto Caitlin. That's why. A little overcooked by Caitlin Varai. This is a not her usual position going here for for the outside spot, the left pin. So let's see in terms of chemistry and familiarity if this will work. Now it's Rose Doria serving for Signal HD, their second leading scorer in the season. Back set to Trisha Tubu. Ball up by Jel Cayuna. Meneses setting up Jovelin Gonzaga. Good rally. Back row hit for Kate. And that's outside. Another error will send us to the first technical timeout. The score is 8-2. to two. Arena Plus, a stakes of sports. Now we have the Farm Fresh Foxies taking on the Signal HD Spikers. And we seem to have a developing theme so far. And that is errors, Jamie. That's right. The Farm Fresh Foxies are committing quite too many unforced errors early on here in this first set. As you can see, this current score, too. I mean, they have to pull it together now before it's too late, before Coach Jerry becomes... A little bit vocal here yeah. in the timeouts. There you go. 
a good response off of the first technical timeout. That is their first attack point. And let's take a look at that replay. This is the set as well. That's a call. That's actually called the differential set. A uh, set that is much higher than the usual eight quick attack, and that is going to work in their favor, especially with Louis Romero and when Riza Cruz is in the front row. Little scramble there for Farm Fresh. Dirai gives up a free ball. Cayuna looks and sets. Jovelin Gonzaga. A chase, no more for Riza Cruz. Jovelin Gonzaga, it's not always about power, but placement as well. She just pushed it over in that zone five zone. But I mean, you're going up against a lot of veterans. You have to be crafty with your attacks. You have to find some way to outsmart your opponent. Well, she's been doing that for a couple of years now. Masterful at it. Did I? Couldn't score. Covered by her teammates. One more. Ball deflected. Job clears out her teammates. Kayuna as an attacker. That didn't drop. And here's the counter. Caped in on the cross. How about Don's effort? But not enough. That's the third time for Kaylin Verai targeting Don in that sequence. Now let us target our courtside reporter in Kyla Castillo. Kyla, go ahead. Thank you, Megs. Now, we've all grown to love Trisha Tubu for her relentless offense. She's a power lefty, but today she's going to be maximized as a middle blocker. She told me, and I quote, Bago mag Holy Week, sabi sa akin ni Coach Shimizu, mag-middle ka. Nagulat talaga ako, pero excited din, kaya nag-muni-muni ako. You know what, Megs and Jamie? Trisha as a middle is gonna be very interesting because back in her collegiate stint in 85, blocking was the skill that she wanted to improve the most. Now, Trisha tells me that with the arrival of Japanese coaches in the team, a lot of changes were implemented and they're adapting to those day by day with a motivation of getting better. This report is brought to you by the Pilipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now or watch via PilipinasLive.com and experience UAA P PVL games live in HD and commercial free anytime and anywhere in the world. Now back to you, Mix and Jamie. Well, you did mention, Jamie, that at least Farm Fresh had the Holy Week to adjust to this new positioning. And it's good to hear from Kyla that they didn't adjust to it only in their training sessions, but also in their Mooney Mooney sessions, apparently. The times where you reflect, that is the best time, <laughs> the Mooney Mooney sessions. But, I mean, with that break, they were able to work on their craft, to elevate their game a bit more, and also unlearn the bad habits that were occurring in their previous matches. Could be also an argument for relearning for yes. Trisha Tubu. Right, right. As now, Ces Molina scores off the block. Kayuna, I said this earlier, has a lot of weapons up her sleeve here. Ces Molina coming from the left in this time. But in terms of the blocking of Farm Fresh, this is something that needed to be worked on in their last match against PLDT. So especially they're going to target Louis Romero if she's in the front row because she's not the tallest. Right. That's one of the adjustments also, by the way, with this new positioning as Ces Molina scores again. If you have a new position, then you don't only have to adjust in terms of your attacking, but also your defense. And also, this is the first time that Farm Fresh is experimenting this during an actual game. It's very different mix when you practice in training, mm -hmm. right? You you train to play, but when in, in, when it's an actual game setting, this is where you really need to find that killer instinct because how you train, it's not always what will come out in the game. And you're also going up against Signal HD, no less. Battle at the net. That's set back by Farm Fresh. Jel Cayuna tried to drop it to no avail. Delario keeping it alive. A push. Cayuna on to ah. Rose Doria, who knew it that she was going to score. And going for that B quick attack. The first set to Rose Doria was a little bit too low. The spike of the set is brought to you by Duncan of Masalubong Nambaya. But she was able to go for that piece to attack a better set from Jelka Yuna. How about that smile from Rose Doria? And now it's an ace for Riri Menezes. Riri Menezes targeting Caitlin Verai and Chini Arroyo. Time out for Coach Jerry. Nothing. All mistake. This is nothing the score is different. Okay, one more again. One more again. Okay, the bala bala. Okay, okay, no problem. So first one point to go. Hey. Koko de shokyoku te kinatara dame. Wakai negative. Wakai negative. 
ターンネガティブここでもっと積極的に自分で取りに行くし攻撃しに行く一人一人が自分が点取ると思ってトラトラスカイです There's another change in positioning. Chini Arroyo is also playing from the opposite side in this game. Let's see how she can perform. As now, Ria Meneses will be serving. She did have an ace already. Ball up for Farm Fresh. Arroyo, this time from the left bin, and that drops. Smart play by Chini Arroyo going for that sharp cross court attack. The offensive position here for Chin Arroyo is much needed in the scoring department because a lot of the weapons here, Kaylin Varai, you have Taksip, you have Cruz, they need more in terms of the offense here. Bit of a scramble there for the Foxies. Kayuna again as an attacker. She really loving it, by the way. Well deflected by Signal. They send it to Rose, and there's a hole in the middle. This is what the Farm Fresh Foxy needs to work on in terms of the defense in that donut hole zone here. That's also a great smart play by Rose Doria. And also, Delphina was already on her knees in mm -hmm. that sequence. Well, she's been very athletic, yes. right, as a yes. setter. Would you say that that's her most unique trait? Yes, I mean, she... There's a lot of setters that do that as well, Mix, but with Jelka, you know, she's very calm and collected. She knows the specific set that her setters want, and not that her spikers want, and not only that, when to do it is the right time. There you go, the right timing as well onto Vanny Gander to send us to the second technical timeout. Awesome live sports viewing is guaranteed with Signal yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Switch now and get up to three months with no cash out. Visit www.signal.tv slash switch for more details. Right now, the Signal HD spikers are looking good. Up by 10, and they have a full front row as Cruz could not reach for that ball. Makes after that loss against the Cream Line Cruz Smashers, a very heartbreaking loss at that a five set match. They probably also had time to reflect oh, after yeah. what had happened, but you can see that it's, it is currently smooth sailing for them in this first set. After all, they have a tight race for our semifinals. Six teams are virtually battling for it, but you never know. Farm Fresh can actually make a run for themselves. We have Chini Arroyo in the right pin. You see that she targeted the hands of Ses Molina, her left hand, but you did say this earlier, Nick. Anything could happen here in the PBL. I mean, we've witnessed quite a few reverse sweeps here. So yeah. Anything could happen. And again, Farm Fresh did defeat Cherry Tigo once upon a time as Jovelin Gonzaga scores again. She is the top scorer so far with four. Whether jo Jovelin Gonzaga is coming from the right pin or left pin, she really finds a way to just score for her squad, finding that hole in between the block, going for that off-speed attack, a tip. Those are the vet moves that Signal needs. It's now 18 to 7. Mm. That works for Caitlin Garay. Caitlin Garay tooling the block here. For those that are just tuned in, Caitlin Garay is currently playing uh, open, coming from the left pin, not her usual. You never saw her play from the open in Chocomucho. No, I did not. But, I mean, 
Caitlin's the type of player that could fill in. Yeah, she was position. coming off the bench. Yes, so whether it's coming from the right or the left, she's one of those players who can adjust easily. Service area for Farm Fresh. Coach Jerry isn't too happy about it. Now Rose Dindoria takes her turn, 19 to 8. Never know with Coach Jerry with that face. It's either oh, he's yeah. happy or not. You, you, no one will know. <laughs> and he's using his left hand to hide his facial his expression mouth. as well. Yes, yes. Chase here for Jell, an easy ball. But it fell on to Rhea Menezes. That caused some distraction and ultimately a miscue. A rare miscue at that coming from the Signal HD Spikers. You hear them all scream yeah. after that first contact of <laughs> Rhea Menezes. <laughs> Those are just funny <laughs> reactions. We'll gladly take it. Yes. And they do have a good cushion. Nice to see by Job. Oh, not the best of setups. An easy ball, though. Job couldn't drop it. Here's the counter. Caitlin Virai down the line. Caitlin Virai being that lefty can go cross down the line. I mean, she's currently the veteran player here on the court. Louis Romero setting her up perfectly. Again, she has good momentum for herself, scoring 11 in their previous outing versus PLDT. That was her highest scoring total so far for Farm Fresh. Service in for Riza. Here's Ria from the middle. You see Jel Kayuna setting Doria, setting Ria Menezes for that B quick attack. The set is so fast that the Farm Fresh block is actually a bit late in that sequence. Well, now all five attackers for Jelka Yuna have scored more than one point. Wow. <laughs> Trisha Tubu, that went outside. A little overcooked in that sequence. That was also a perfect set coming from Louis Romero. But have you seen the set that you wanted for Trisha Tubu as of yet? Not yet. Not yet. There's still some miscues here and there. And this is Ooh. not a surprise as this is her new position as well being a middle blocker in this match but i'm also curious as to see the strategy of louis romero and what she's gonna set trisha Tupu. service ace for jovel and gonzaga what a start for her that's her first ace in this match almost another one the chance ball for signal hd don gel vani yes this is what we were talking about earlier, Mix. Jel Kayuna allowing her spikers to shine, giving her that specifically Vanny Gallner, the specific set that she wants. And I know Vanny, she likes the sets that are not too off the net, kind of near the net, but not also too high. So you see that their tandem, their connection has really elevated after each game. It's now a 13 point advantage. Good save by Jov. Vanny tipping it over, and she found a hole. And finding a way, the set was also a little too tight, but because of her height and might, she was able to find a way above the blocking of the Farm Fresh Foxes. You also see that Donor Hole Zone is still vacant. Right. No urgency coming from the side of the Farm Fresh Foxes. 14 set points for Jovelin Gonzaga and company. Back set. Is that a slide on the back row as Jel Kayuna <laughs> went set number one with a 1-2 play? How about this start for Signal HD, 25 to 10. I mean, after the break, they have really recharged, I would say, especially coming off that match against the Queen Michael Smashers. The familiarity, the chemistry is there, especially with Dawn now in the mix, helping in the non-scoring department in terms of the digging and re receiving. Jelka Yuna, it's very easy, I would say. She's not even moving that much because the receive is so stable. Jovelin Gonzaga, by the way, already has five points to her name in this game. We'll be back for set number two.
You're back inside the Field Sports Arena in Pasig City for Farm Fresh versus Signal HD. And what a dominating start it was for Signal. They won the first set by 15. And also, that first set was only 20 minutes, a very quick first set. But I want to talk about the Signal HD Spikers. They're very cohesive, they're agile, they're very quick in terms of the, being reactive. They know what to do, they have that familiarity, they have the chemistry, they have that look when they look at their teammates, they already know what to do. I mean, but on the side of the Farm Fresh Foxies, there were a few experiments coming your way in terms of positioning and what's needed for the Farm Fresh Foxies, more urgency, better defense as well, especially in that middle part in the donut hole zone, but it's too early in the match. Anything could ha happen in the second set, Mix. Well, it's uh, never too late to keep on adjusting here in the PVL as we talk about the numbers in set number one. Take a look at the attacks, the disparity, eight on the side of the Farm Fresh Foxes and 15 on the side of Signal. Three aces from Signal, but take a look at that. Two airs from Signal. That's almost perfect volleyball and seven on the side of the Farm Fresh Foxies. But that just goes to show that the attacks on the side of the Farm Fresh Foxies need to be converted into points. That was a good hit by Bertolana from the back row. And Signal HD is ready to counter. Oh, just a free ball given up. Can Louis maximize this? Arroyo tried to go cross. It's quite low. One more for Chini. Ball bouncing off, Signal recovers. Back row hit for Vanny, and yes, it works. We all know that Vanny Gambler is thriving here from the back row, and you also see this specific set of Jelka Yuna. It's not that high, it's a little bit low, which means that it's a much faster offense, which means that the Farm Fresh block needs to be much faster as well. I mentioned the ability of Vanny to attack from the back row. Yes. When you were teammates with her, what, were, what was her deadliest angle? Uh, she would go for cross court. Cross court. But now looking at her growth and also in terms of her physicality, she's much stronger and deadly weapon here coming from the back row. Combination play did not work for Signal HD. That's a push by Chini, but she was blocked. Read perfectly by Job. Especially Jovelin Gonzaga. She was trapped. Chini Arroyo was actually trapped in that sequence. Jovelin Gonzaga, we know what she can do. We know her blocking formation there, but the Farm Fresh Fox needs to be more creative in terms of their attack points. That's the first block point for Jov in this game. Romero with a tough setup for Lai Bertolano. Chance on the other end. Jovelin Gonzaga. He drops at zone number five. Jovan Gonzaga also targeted that specific zone mix, zone five in the first set. And you see there's no adjustment coming from the Farm Fresh Foxes in terms of their defensive pattern. This is where the in-game adjustments need to come about in terms of the Farm Fresh Foxes. Signal is now up 3-0 in set number two. Here's Cess Molina. Got a deflection. Romero chases. Arroyo going cross. Nice take by Sess. Back row hit for Vanny. Good rally on going. Chini again. Cross court. Ball up by Doria. Back set by Kayuna. What a save. <laughs> Gel Kayuna going for that reverse sw set, rather, giving Jovel and Gonzaga almost no block. This spike of the set is brought to you by Duncan Pasalubong ng Bayan. It could also be a set of the set. Yes. <laughs> it was that good. I mean, Jelke Yuna is currently number one in the setting rank. You have Jovelin Gonzaga as a spiker, one of the threats here in the PBL. Now that drops for Farm Fresh. Badly needed point for them. They're trailing behind by three points here. There you see Coach Jerry. Again, it's quite hard to read <laughs> what's on his mind. Jenny Arroyo will be serving one to four in set number two. Straight to the net. Very unfortunate. Yes, those are the unforced errors that cannot happen, especially when you are down one set. It also ices your rhythm as well and your momentum that you're trying to gain. Now, I ask every analyst this. Now I can get your opinion for the first yeah, time. Yeah, because we're part of the, <laughs> for the first, first time. time. Makes. What's your quota for teams or a team's errors in one set? They What's the number? At least five.
at most five. At most, at most five. Yeah. five. Okay. At most five, yep. And also having two misserves is already a lot. Okay. So if you have three, that's too, too much, much for you. Are the skill sets that can be controlled. And pe teams really practice that for a long time. Yes. Oh, ball up by Louis Romero. Good effort by Farm Fresh, but they gave up a chance ball. Makandili Katindig, Kayuna, combination play to Jovelin Gonzaga. You see Jovelin Gonzaga telling Jal Kayuna, perfect set. I mean, this is where the communication, the tandem works between the two vets here. Also, Riza Cruz not reading that block there in that sequence. Good her job, by the way, to keep on improving her chemistry with Jel Kayuna because she's relatively one of their newest additions. As now we get a service ace from Cesc Molina, and that will send us to our first technical timeout in set number two. Back inside the Phil Sports Arena in Pasig City. And the domination continues for Signal HD. Uh, Arena Plus, Astigs of Sports. Just a good reminder for us here as viewers of the PVL, the heart of volleyball. Ces Molina is getting ready to serve for Signal HD. It's now 8 to 1. Delerio receives. Tight at the net. Now a chance for Signal. Jovelin Gonzaga, whistle blown. Somebody touched the net. A touch. These are very untimely, unforced errors coming from the Farm Fresh Foxies. You can actually hear them saying one stop. I think they need to have a, some sort of reset because they're scrambling here. Yeah. One, nine. Running hit, that didn't work. Gonzaga, touch or not. Ball is out. It's outside, as now we turn you over to Kyla Castillo. Thanks, Megs. When asked the question, what motivates you? Oh, anong pinanghuhugutan mo? Family, fulfilling a childhood dream, fostering a better future are the usual answers of players, but not Jovelin Gonzaga. The Ilonga says it's the management o yung mga nag-aalaga at walang sawang nagtitiwala raw sa kanila, ano man ang mangyari. She walked me through what happened last game against Greenland and told me that through it all, she did not lose her fire. In fact, that performance of her made the fire burn even brighter. Toughest lesson from that game was lack of communication during crucial times. And now they vow to learn from that and moving forward. After all, chemistry and firepower can only do so much if comms are compromised. Don't compromise your PVL watching experience. Download the Pilipinas Live app now and enjoy PVL games live in HD and commercial free anytime and anywhere in the world. Now back to you, Mix and Jamie. I love that. The fire is burning once again for Jovelin Gonzaga, who already has nine points in this game. And... Might I share, Jamie, as Ria Menes has almost scored. To me, in that previous game, Jovelin basically reminded everybody of what she can do at this level. That's right. I mean, not only in terms of her offense, but a lot of the teams actually target her for the serve, and she's completely unfazed. She's been in moments like this. She's also a beach volley player who also receives a lot as well. So... If you're going to give a serve to Jovelin Gonzaga, you better give the best serve of your life. <laughs> well, that was a good hit by Lai Bertolano off of the left pin. 
And attack points have come rare in this game for Farm Fresh. That is her first point. She also did not start in the first set as well. There's the receive by Jovelin Gonzaga, leading on to a hit by Ria Meneses. Counter from Lai. Great block. And you have Ria Meneses here in the front row, who is very stable in the blocking department. But let's take a look at this, at this sequence here. Perfect formation of and press as well by Ria Meneses. Now we have a timeout for Farm Fresh. No, no, we can see, we can see. See them, see, see the good result. Okay, don't give up, don't give up. Continue. Don't worry, don't worry. Do, can do. Okay, don't worry. One point is too high. You can't use the quick, so you can use the quick. One point is too high. B pass, I think you can use quick. B pass. The postseason of the association is almost here. Watch the 2024 NBA playoffs starting April 20. Only on NBA TV Philippines, One Sports and Filipinas Live. Hashtag everyone's game. Hashtag NBA on signal. Trisha Tubu could not score. Now it's Cesc Molina, about to drop it to no avail. How about that effort by Dawn Makandili Katindig? Yeah, signature from her. There she is again, Vanny Gandler. Ball put back. Jelka Yuna, will that be her first attack point? Yes! She has been trying to attack <laughs> in this match, but she's successful in this sequence. But talk about Dawn, sacrificing her body everywhere, yeah. diving for everything, that is the goal and role of being one of the best bears here in the Philippines. Well, she has been, at least at the top part for the past couple of years, as now we get a service ace. Jovelin Gonzaga now has 10 points to lead the way among all scorers. He makes talking about the Farm Fresh Foxies, this is um, the growing pain while learning a new system, being a young team. And I watched a few interviews of Louis Romero and Trisha Tuvu, and they did mention that it's a hard adjustment, but something that, that is new, something that is unfamiliar, is where you actually grow the most. So this is, it might be frustrating for the girls now, but it will really help in the long run. Well, it's only the beginning yes. off of this change for Farm Fresh as Trisha Tuvu just scored for them. She is the top scorer in the season so far. Or make that in the country. Yes. That's the <laughs> right term. Four serving 14 by Bertolano. Signature jump serve. Ball up by Cesc Molina. I said. Gonzaga. Farfresh keeping it alive. Live from the back. Met at the net by Ria Meneses. Danny Gander straight to the back. Romero sending it through. Good eyes by Don. Back row for Cesc. And that works. I'm taking a look at the offense of the Signal HC Spikers. Very quick, very reactive. They know their roles, and that is very key in terms of a good team versus a great team. You see, they're very reactive. I mentioned this earlier. In terms of familiarity, take a look, Vanny already with seven points. Very high efficiency in this match for Vanny, but I mean, smooth sailing coming from the side of Signal. No. Your point actually makes me think that this Ooh. could be an effect as Chini Arroyo drops the hammer for Far and Fresh. But to your point about Signal HD recognizing the roles and uh, living up to it, I think that could be an effect of the addition of Don Makandiri oh, Katindik. Yes. And I remember watching an interview and Vanny mentioned that it's that she's very happy with having Dawn by her side because also Vanny doesn't need to focus so much on receive. Not only Vanny, but also the others because they know Dawn will do the job. They It gets to the point where Dawn actually gets balls that are not even for her. Yeah. And that helps in terms of dictating the offense. It also helps with the libero and setter connection that is 
slowly mastering here between Jel Kayuna and Don as well. And speaking of mastery, Shinny Arroyo has been playing well nice. lately, and now Trisha Tugu gets an ace. This is the best sequence so far for Farm Fresh in this game. Yes, Trisha Tugu targeting that corner pocket of zone one. Vanny and Jovelin Gonzaga a little bit stunned in that sequence as the ball actually dropped in that zone one. Spinning set for Jel Cayuna. That didn't work for Riri Meneses. The counter comes from Chini. And that drops back to zone one. The signal HC spikers are saying, well, there we have our first challenge of the match called by the signal HC spikers. Ball in, ball out from the attack of Chini Arroyo going down the line. Let's see if they saw something different. Did have a good angle from here. But if you're farm fresh, you'll gladly take what's happening right now. Yes, of course, you see that they're slowly gaining momentum. Also in terms of communication, they're talking to each other. They're smiling more compared to the first set. Let's see where the ball will drop. That's it. It's definitely inside. So, the momentum continues to be with farm fresh. As we take a look at coach Shaq De Los Santos, ever so busy. Like we're happy for him. Nice receive by Job. Talk about her being targeted as Signal couldn't score. There's the counter from Far Fresh. And it's really yes. Vanessa's reaching to the skies. That will send us to our second technical timeout, 16 to 8. We did see a 4-0 run by the Farm Fresh Foxies before that previous point by Riri Meneses. But if you're Signal HD, should you be concerned by what happened? I mean, with Signal being the veteran team that they are, I think they're just sticking to their game plan. Not too much focus on what their opponent is doing, just taking care of their side of things. And you see that they're a team that also pays attention to detail as well, especially with that first set being 10-25. Combination play didn't work for Farm Fresh. One more try, and that drops for them. See the Farm Fresh Foxy slowly gaining momentum here. Tech Sip here in the front row. Louis Romero up to serve. But knowing the signal HD spikers in terms of what has happened to, the, to them in the past, they want to try and win right away because They've been in experiences where they have lost and they're up two sets. Here comes Signal HD, Roasted Doria. It's been quite a while. Yes. That's her third point in this matchup. And her attacks are actually coming from that B quick attack. That is her specialty. Jel Kayuna giving them the perfect set. Jel now serving and getting the ace. She also scored earlier with an attack. Now it's service ace. I think it's very obvious that Jel wants to reach all targets of the <laughs> rankings here. She has three points so far to her name. That's her first service ace. And now she sends that ball in. Delerio with a receive. Attack from the right. And a chance to counter. Jovelin Gonzaga tips it over. Delerio keeping it alive. Bit of a scramble for Signal. It's Vanny from the back. Ball up by Louis Romero. 
for Tulano. Now to Riza. Chase for Dawn. Just another day at work for her. Ball to the sky. Chance for Farm Fresh. And to the slide. And yes, it is a point for the white shirts. Seeing this running attack coming from Riza Cruz, the tandem between Louis Romero. But look at that flight, touching that block of the Signal HD spikers. This is what Louis Romero needs to do, field in more attacks coming from the middle. Not too much on the left pin because we know the blocking of Signal. 18 to 10 now, chance ball for Farm Fresh. Not the best of digs though. Practically a chance on the other end. Gonzaga, chase for Delerio. Riza, good rally. Don sends it to Jove. Cross court, very sharp. And that is the attack that Jovelin Gonzaga was actually trying to do early in the first set, targeting that zone two. That sharp cross court attack, it's just simple flex there yeah. with that cross court <laughs> attack, the sharp cross. That's basic already for a beach volleyball player. Good to have her back, by the way, talking about uh, Jovelin Gonzaga. Healthy back row hit, well. healthy as well. Oh, a chase. Job keeps it alive. It's done. Makandili Katindig will send it over. Bertolano. Wow, what a dig by Don. Gel back to Job again wow. with a sharp angle. I mean, talk about the team effort here. We have Don with a perfect dig. We have Gel Kayuna going for that reverse set. And Jovelin going for that same spot. I mean, this is where the familiarity comes, the chemistry. I've been saying this amongst the Signal HD spikers, but they are a very well-oiled machine in this match. You know, as Bertolano scores for Farm Fresh, I can't help but wonder, with this fire burning for Jovelin Gonzaga, could this actually be a sign that she could be the top scorer moving forward for Signal HD? Well, it just goes to show that, I mean, consistency, it depends on the consistency of the players here of the Signal HD Spikers. And it also depends on Jelka Yuna in her strategy as right. well. I think that Ooh. was stepping. Or a double, double contact. contact. Very interesting. Rare error coming from the number one setter. Jel just smiling it off. They do have a good cushion here. Yes. 12 serving 20. Kyle Tagsip will be doing the honors for Farm Fresh. Service inside, Don receives. Kayuna on to Doria. She's been very efficient. Very agile. Very disciplined also in terms of blocking Doria going for that back quick attack. And also, the set of Jelkina, in terms of her positioning, she was not near the net, right? So you can see Jelkina really taking that risk and really fielding in the middle blockers. Nice the set. middle back sets onto Trisha Tubu. Molina keeping it alive. Great effort by Jel. Gandler setting it through, and somehow it works for Vanny. Vanny Gandler going for that off-speed attack, that roll shot, as they call it, in Zone 5. Now we have a timeout for Farm Fresh. スパイカーをよく見てポジションスパイクスパイカーにスパイクにスパイクに自分のシステムのポジションに戻ろうとしすぎてるから相手の状況を見て相手がもう打ってきてたら早く止まってそこから取りに。ディフェンス盛んにライ
in two sets of play. Jaw receives. It's Meneses met by Tubu and Riri prevails. Miscue amongst Jelka Yuna and Ria Meneses, but I mean, a point is a point. It's the type of set, yeah. Yes. <laughs> she was ready for a quicker one. No, but Migs, looking at the rankings here, there are currently five Signal HE spikers in terms of best score. You have Molina, you have Doria, Gandler, Menezes, Gonzaga. In a the top. In the top 27 of the league. I mean, that just goes to show that Jelka Yuna is spreading out her offense e evenly as well. A lot of weapons up her sleeve. Right. Now Bertolano will be serving off of their point. 14-23. Nice receive by Don. Meneses again. See that flick of the wrist on that back hook attack coming from Ria Meneses. But, I mean... We also have to talk about the stable first ball. That's also why Jelka Yuna is able to set more to the middle blockers, and it's working in their favor. Well, Don Makandili Katindig is number one, after all, in the PBL in terms of receptions. Romero onto Tubu, blocked. And guess what? That's it for set number two, Signal HD again, winning in double figures. He makes going back to Don, you would think that their op her opponent would avoid her in terms of receive, but they're actually giving her the ball, and it's a perfect first ball. She's unfazed by what's happening on the other side, and just really focusing on the game plan of the Signal HE Spikers. Also, Vanny Gandler with her powerful back row attacks, but on the side of the Farm Fresh Foxies, there needs to be more communication, more chemistry, I would say, but those are things that are not taught and learned over time. Let's see if set three could again spell a big difference for Farm Fresh. We'll be back for that one. And we're back for Farm Fresh versus Signal HD. So we've seen 45 minutes of play as of this moment, and Signal just continues to play oh so well, winning in double figures on those two sets. But Jamie, we did see better flashes from the side of Farm Fresh in set two. Better offense and with Bertolana going for the down the line, better setting decisions coming from Louis Romero. But when it comes to that first ball in defense, this is where they need to improve on in with this incoming third set. But on the side of the Signal HD Spikers, they are a well-oiled machine. You can see that they want to win this match. You can see that there's so much hunger in their eyes when they play very reactive, very committed. And also, they're not just going 
through the motions of dig, set, spike, but they're also playing with intent. They have goals that they want to achieve in this match as they head to, or as they race to the final four. But let's talk about the set two stats here on your screens. Better attacking coming from the Farm Fresh Foxies, 11 with attacks, 15 on the side of Signal, three blocks for the Signal HG Spikers and four aces as well coming from Signal. But take a look at the errors. Also two from Signal and three from the Farm Fresh Foxies. Almost perfect volleyball here, but what's needed for the Farm Fresh Foxies is better attacking. But it's very rare to see less than five errors. Right, your per quota set. is five, five. Per, team. per team, right? Per set. Yeah, per set. Yeah. But this is a combination of yes, two teams. Five. Yes. <laughs> yes. So definitely a clean set number two for us. Let's see if Farm Fresh can step up in the other categories come set number three. So far, Jovelin Gonzaga leads the way in terms of scoring with 12. It's Vanny Gander who trails her with 8 points. And then Molina and Manessas are tied with 6. On the other end, it's Shinny Arroyo who leads the way with 5 for Farm Fresh. And two of them have 4 points each in Riza Cruz and Trisha Tubu. We also haven't seen the other players from the Signal HG Spikers, Troncoso, Kasu good, Giselle C as well. Deep bench coming from the side of the Signal HC Spikers. The only player off the bench is Jack Jack Dionella, the yes. other libero for them. And Basas also, Chin Chin Basas has not played as yeah, well. Yeah, she hasn't played. Farm Fresh would choose the middle for their first play and it works. Kyle Taksip scores. Except for that A quick attack, Luya Ribeiro really needs to find ways to fool the defense of the Signal HG Spikers. She needs to set more to the middle blockers. I also said that in the second set, just to have Roseman Doria and Ria Menezes move a bit more. Mm -hmm. But on the other end, the middle blocker was just activated by Jel Kayuna. Yes. Back to you, <laughs> <laughs> says Jel Kayuna. It's Rose Doria, who now has a total of five points. Wow. Let's see if she can score more. Ball up by Chini Arroyo. Romero sending it through. Ooh, a miscue for Signal. Back to job, cross court. Dug up by Louis. Delerio sending it to the left. That's a push. That didn't work for Kate. Counter with Jove, it drops. I mean, Jovelin Gonzaga, the ever so reliable lefty opposite spiker coming from the right pin. I mean, when the Signal HG spikers need that instant, immediate side out, you have many options, but you, you go to that veteran, of course. Jovelin. You have Caitlin Vrij also now playing this third set. Good to have her back, cross court. Janela was there, and it's Gander who sends it back to their side. Free ball. Romero onto the slide. It's long. Very unfortunate for Farm Fresh. Riza Cruz trying to go for that down the line. Uh, lack of wrist action in that sequence. So after the first point for Farm Fresh, it's now three straight for Signal HD, just like that. Cesc Molina serving that ball in the absolute float. Caitlin Verai, finally. And now. We go back to Kyla Castillo with another report. Thank you so much, Megs. Now, Megs and Jamie, I have a question for you. Are you nonchalant or OA? You can answer that later. But earlier, Louis Romero and I shared a laugh after she shared with me how the Foxies, after being with them for two conferences now, transformed her from being a nonchalant setter to a not so OA pa naman. Malayu layu pa, pero, mal pero andun na rin, but more vocal o mas maingay na player. Now, that's a testament as to how the Foxies, primarily composed of young yet talented players, are oozing with this contagious energy. Now, with how things are going in this game they might want to use that high energy to their advantage you know reset and lighten up in hopes of getting their groove back reset relax and lighten up by watching philippine volleyball download the philippines type app now and enjoy watching your favorite stars in hd and commercial free anytime and anywhere in the world now back to that question mix and jamie well, jamie I, I think you have to answer i it. know what i am oh a for sure <laughs> 
<laughs> but she did translate it. Kyla translated it onto your level of communication as a setter. I'm sure you also had to work on your communication abilities when you started playing volleyball. Especially being a setter as well, you have to be the leader on the court. You have to really command the court. You have to demand from your liberos. You have to demand from your spikers. It's a lot of pressure being a setter on a volleyball team. It's now five to three as Jovelin Gonzaga serves. Trisha Tugu coming yes. around. I mean, this is why they fielded Trisha Tubu here in the middle position. But it's the first time we've seen her run that play as right. well. That gave me a, a bit of a Kasi Dongalio yes, memory. How can you compare those two? I mean, they're very different in terms of skill set as well. We have not seen enough sets given to Trisha Tubu yet just okay. to, to gauge. But Cassie as well, I mean, being a rookie there in UE, one of the best so far. So let's go back to that later on as this rally goes. Tubu tipping it over. Don is back, and she kept that ball alive. Off speed. Great read by Ses Molina. I mean, Ses Molina going for that off speed attack mid air. But take a look at where the ball actually landed makes in that same spot in the donut hole zone I mean more urgency coming from the side of the farm fresh foxies so now it's six serving four vanny gander will be doing the honors again still no subs in terms of black shirts in this game only the liberos have been changing for signal hd nice set. open hit and there was a miscue at the back line for Signal. A rare miscue between Jack Janella and Vanny Gander, but Chini Arroyo need more production from her coming from the left pin. Chini's output is at six points right now. Rhea Meneses, that sailed wide. A little overcooked in that sequence. See Rhea a little bit frustrated, frustrated from that attack. But these two far fresh, you're keeping it very tight here in set number three. Compared to the first two sets, right? There's a tubu sending that ball in. Job receives Molina with her left hand. Romero, that's a back row hit. Chance for signal. Pipe, nope. At the net, regalo para kay Ces. Too good coming from Ces Molina. An early gift here in the third set. I mean, when Ces Molina, she will be aggressive at the net. That overpass coming from Riza Cruz. That's just too easy. Yes. The signal again with another point as Meneses serves that ball straight to Bertolano. Combination. Chini with a tip. Bit of a scramble. Oh, what a find by Jel Cayunas. That was also the help coming from Ces Molina. She was able to get that block after that first touch. Now we have first technical timeout in set number three, eight to six.
Arena Plus, Astigs Sports. And now we are back inside the Field Sports Arena in Pasig City as Louis Romero sets up Kyle Tagsip. Good save by Signal and a chance for the white shirts. Slide at the back. Still didn't work. Molina going cross. Yes. A few miscues coming from Bertolano and Delerio in that sequence, but Ces Molina, one of the veteran spikers here of Signal. I, mean, I said this earlier, too many weapons. Well, they've been utilized by that woman, Jel Cayuna, who has performed oh so well. Plus four in terms of her sets versus Louis Romero, who now gives that ball up for that down the line hit. And was it in or out for Chini? There's a check ball okay. coming from that attack. Arroyo was very certain that there was a check ball. Again, Farm Fresh is keeping it tight. That's all you want. Give yourselves a chance. And maybe it can translate into more momentum. Yep. Ball up by Vani. Cayuna on to Doria, pushing it to zone one. Arroyo feeling it. Arroyo has the hot hands in this third set. I mean, just tooling the block of the Signal HD spikers. The spike of the set is brought to you by Duncan, ang pasalubong ng bayan. That was Cesc Molina before the first technical timeout. Miss received by Vani. And uh, there's the other replay, Chini Arroyo with a point. And now it's her teammate, Riza Cruz, who delivers. You see Riza Cruz going for that almost like running attack here early on in this third set, her specialty running attack. This is the signal that needs to stay composed, especially when their opponent gains that momentum. This is where their consistency, but Delario with that perfect dig. 3-0 run for Farm Fresh. Delario again with the coverage. Arroyo sending it through. Missed dig by Jov. Chase, and here's Fatty. It's low. Now Farm Fresh has the advantage. And not only the advantage, Minx, but also the momentum here. They're a little bit more awake, I would say, in this third set. It's the loudest that the arena has been so far in this game. Timeout, Coach Shaq. Tapos yung play nila, yun lang yung ginagawa nilang play kanina sa mula ng first set. Ngayon, mas na-execute kasi free ball yung binibigay natin. Okay? So, kailangan maibigay natin ng magandang pasa combination play. Kung hindi kaya, basic lang. Back quick, dulo. Okay. Si Romero ba yung blocker mo doon sana? Ah, sige. Tapos tingnan nyo lang yung service niya. Kasi pagka whistle, nagsiserve agad. Nagsiserve. So, ready agad, ha? Okay? Sige, pasahan nyo lang muna. Pasa, pasa. Pasa, pasa. Pasa, pasa. Pasa, pasa. Pasa, pasa. It's the first time that we heard Coach Shaq's voice in this game, but obviously there's some sense of urgency on the side of Jel Cayuna, Ces Molina, and the rest of the Signal HD Spikers. Isa Diaz is surely feeling it right now in set number three. Ces Molina met at the net. Arroyo puts it up. Romero back sets. Oh, that's a miss hit. Miss Q coming from Riza Cruz and Romero. Very untimely because they do have the momentum in this third set, giving a free point to Signal. At some point, they did score four straight versus Jel Cayuna and company. Now it's a full front line for Jel, who sends that in. Romero, combination play, it's outside. That's the right play coming from Louis Romero with that combination play. Arroyo needs a little bit more snap at that wrist in that sequence. Now Signal regains the lead. 11 to 10. Cayuna. Oh, what a serve. It's a lethal serve coming from Jel Cayuna. I believe that is her second ace of this entire match. And you saw the trajectory of the ball change when it reached the side of Farm Fresh. Yes. And usually with a floater serve like that, it actually just drops. Mm -hmm. Very hard to read, but... Now it dropped early. <laughs> high risk, high reward. Sometimes it just does not go in your favor. Well, she does come from that FEU program, yes. which is known for yeah. its serving, That's right? Kyle Negrito as well. Good service. 11-12. Arroyo sending it straight to Dawn, which is not usually the best of ideas, as now Doria just scored. Actually, the back quick attack was going way outside, but 
Chini Arroyo not in the right position, giving another free point, I would say, to Signal. 13-11, Ses Molina will now be doing the honors. Again with the float, Delario receives it. A chase for Louis. Back row for Chini. Jack, Jack. Gel rolls a better hit this time. Going for that back quick attack. I mean, you have a very strong rotation here. Jel Kayuna is currently in the back row. Three spikers, Vanny Gandler, Doria, Jovelin Gonzaga. You can maximize Rose and Doria in the front row. Almost an ace. Good recovery by Romero. And it's Lisa Cruz who will send the ball up to the sky. And the counter comes from Rose and Doria. And if it's working, might as well continuously give Doria as she's still in the front row. Another back quick attack with the help of the net this time. Rose and Doria now has four points in this set for a total of eight in this game. 15-11, a missed receive for Ginny Arroyo. And this is where the lapses come from the Farm Fresh Foxies. Second technical timeout, signal up by five. Plus, a stick of sports. But now we are back with the heart of volleyball, the Premier Volleyball League in its all Filipino Conference for 2024. This is Mix Gomez at your service alongside Jamie La Vitoria and Kyla Castillo. As Kyle Tagsip tries to maneuver a comeback against Vanny Gander and company. It's now a 7-1 to run by Signal HD. Tagsip sending it over. Doria is set up for job. <laughs> and she scores. Gloria getting that excellent set as well. <laughs> and going for it. Jovelin Gonzaga on the right pin. I love that you gave credit to her because usually the middle blockers uh, would be the one to commit the double contact yes. compared for to everybody else. For some reason, middle blockers love setting as well. I mean, I remember specifically one time back in college. I mean, I forget who was the middle at that time, but it's either you let them set the ball or you push them out of your way. <laughs> <laughs> it's very hard in that moment because you want to trust your teammate as yes. well, the middle blocker, but you never know. It can't be a double contact because, I mean, given that it's not their strongest skill set as well. At least they have the initiative as Vanny Gander totally showed initiative right there, scoring for Signal HD. Going for that down the line, but we have Rio Menezes now in the front row. Have to talk about the middle blockers so far and also the strategy of Jelka Yuna who always gives uh, sets to the, her middle blockers, giving them confidence. Back row hit for Bertolano. Kayuna, confidence to Joe with a tip. Ooh, Delario misread it. And this is where the familiarity comes into play. Delario was there. Bertolano getting that first contact. That move is brought to you by Honda Motorcycle. There's the effort, it's not enough for Delerio. Also miscue as well, miscommunications coming from the Farm Fresh Foxies who actually had a run in the middle of this third set, but they do have a difficult time sustaining. Right. And I think that also comes with maturity as well. I did say this earlier. These are things that can't be taught mix. It really is learned over time through experience. Experience that the eight signal HD strikers do have already. And a lot of that 
as Romero back sets to Trisha Tubo and it drops. No block coming from the Signal HD Spikers. Trisha Tubo finding that hole, but Lee Romero fielding in. Trisha Tubo going down the line. Six points now in this game for Trisha Tubo. She is the second leading scorer for Farm Fresh outside of uh, Chini Arroyo. Nice receive by Job. One hand, it's set to Jackie Acuna. Acuna getting her first point. Back quick attack. Well, now the subs are coming in. There's some sort of cushion. We have a double substitution. Giselle C fielded in for Jelka Yuna. And Jovelin Fernandez as well checks in for Jovelin Gonzaga. Job for Job. Yep. <laughs> and Giselle. For gel. Yes. I like that. You like that. <laughs> 20 G for to 13. G. G for G. <laughs> <laughs> Service in for Giselle. And it's an ace. They're so happy for her. And already an instant impact coming off the bench. One of the veteran setters in Giselle's team. So now all eyes are on Jovely Fernandez. And she scores as well. Received by Chini. Push. Block point, was it John? Yes, Fernandez, also instant impact coming from the front row, going for that stuffed block. How about that? Three straight points from bench players. There's just such an added joy, especially coming off the bench because you've been watching your teammates play and now you can help in some sort of way. Bertolano trying again and she prevails. We need more attacks coming from Bertolano, from Trisha Tubu. But I see the efforts coming from the Farm Fresh Foxies. And there is more to learn coming from this team. But you can see that there is still glimpses of hope for the squad. By the way, they haven't uh, gone over 15 points in this match as Vanny Gander scores again. Smooth sailing coming from Vanny Gander. We have another sub. It's Nadine Troncoso checking in for the first time, replacing Cesc Molina. Now she was a crucial sub in their previous game. Yes, that's right. Had to start set number four because of Cesc's minor injury. Just cramps for her, alongside Vanny Gander, by the way. It was Chinchin Basas who had to replace Vanny. Battle at the net. Romero almost won it. Vanny from the back. Romero onto the open. Nice block, great coverage. Chance ball for Signal. Giselle will go to the combination. A push. One more time. Back row for Vanny. It's low. Impact is a little bit too low. Set a little bit too low for Vanny Gandler in terms of that flight. I mean, point does go to Farm Fresh Foxy. They need some s sort of spark plug here as Signal is two points away of winning this entire match. Here's Trisha Tubu. Serving that ball inside. Don, not the best of receives. Jovelin onto the other end. And once again, there's a donut hole. This is the same spot that needs more work on in that donut hole zone. But Jovelin, Joe Fernandez, rather. <laughs> she is. Yes, jo Jovelin. Jovelin yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we also have Kasugud now. There you go. Your former teammate. Yes, that's right. Back in 2019. Ayan ang ate ng uh, halos lahat. Yes. Ate Jen. Mama Jen. Her. Mama Jen. Nine match points for Jackie Acuna and the rest of Signal HD. Serving for the match. Ball up. Ball through. Romero to the open. Met by two blockers. Giselle. Jackie. Job. Quite low. One more time for Signal. Ladine Troncoso. Not much power there. Romero on to Chini. The rally continues. Giselle back to the left. Troncoso. Quite tight. Romero setting it through. C on to Troncoso again. There's Galerio with an easy up. And it's Chini going down the line. I believe that is outside oh, wow. coming from Chini Arroyo. So that's it. Very unfortunate for Farm Fresh unless they challenge. But it seems like. They're willing to let it go. So Signal HD wins in double figures in all of our sets. Wow, that's good.
quick match coming from the Signal HD Spikers. They had a few days to rest to rejuvenate and I could see in their play better offense coming from the Signal HD Spikers. A little bit more alert, I would say, as well. Govin and Gonzaga had 17 points to lead the way. Ses Molina was behind her with 11. Danny Gander also had 10. Those three were the ones who reached double figures for Signal HD. As now we take a look at some highlights from Ses Molina. And I mean, Ses Molina being that veteran that she is, but alongside Ses Molina, all the other vets, we have Dawn helping back row with the first ball with the receives, but take a look at the scores there in your screens mix. Pure domination for Signal HD. We'll wrap this up even more after this break. There you see the final score, 25-10, 25-14, 25-15, all in double figures in terms of wins for set for Signal HD versus Farm Fresh. And now our best player of the game is with Kyla Castillo. Kyla, go ahead. That's right, Mix. I'm now with our best player of the game from Signal HD Spikers, none other than Roslyn Doria, garnering eight attack points. So, Roslyn, congratulations. You're our player of the game. So, gusto ko lang malaman, eight points, all, to, all attacks. Um, ano yung hugot mo for today's game? Uh, syempre, ginawa lang namin. Ginawa ko lang kung ano yung ano, responsibility ko sa team. And syempre, naging lesson learned yung pagkatalo namin last game. Mm -hmm. Well, as we all know, as we near the end the, uh, the as we near the end of the conference, mayon pang jam dahil six teams kayo ng naglalaban laban, and there's only four spot para sa semis. Um, ano yung ganu ka importante ang panalong ito in terms of safety ng team? Uh, alam naman natin lahat na lahat ng game ay must win. Lahat ng game importante para sa. Amin. All right, so mayroon na ulit kayong kasunod na game and it's against Cherry Tigo. So ano yung mga babaunin nyo from this win against the Foxes? Babaunin namin yung mga gandang ginalaw namin kanina sa game and syempre hindi kami mag-stop mag-learn. All right, now there you have it folks. Um, our best player of the game, Rosalyn Dora. Rosalyn, mayroon ka bang mga gustong batiin at pasalamatan? Mm, binabati ko po yung signal management, Sir Ogi, Sir James, Sir Pao, at sa lahat po ng sumusuporta sa signal and family ko po sa Pangasinan, Doria family, Aquino family. Once again, there you have it folks, our best player of the game, Rosalyn Doria, garnering 8 total attack points from the Signal HD Spikers. Now back to you, Mix and Jamie. Alright, Jamie, now I'll let you uh, give your explanation as to why you chose Rose as best player. It's not about the player that has the most attack points, but who has the most impact. And I consider Doria one of the most unrated middle blockers here in the PBL. She is very silent, but she's deadly in terms of attack. She does her job very calm, very collected, and she is a huge, uh, it, she has huge importance rather for the Signal HD Spikers, but talking about their team as a whole, well oiled machine, you can see that more there's more communication, and Doria did mention in her interview that it was a wake-up call from their last match against the Cream Line Cool Smashers, but on the side of the Farm Fresh Foxies, back to the drawing board, let's see if they continue that specific system that they had the changes in terms of the lineup, but I mean, it all comes with 
dedication, consistency, and all it does start in training. How you train is how you play. So I'm very curious as to Coach Jerry's next moves. The time will only tell for the Farm Fresh Foxies as you take a look at some highlights. We did see some pro progression for them in this game, at least for them, Jamie. Things got better in set two and also a bit better in set three. That's right. I mean, in terms of sustaining that momentum and minimizing the unforced errors, that is what the Farm Fresh Foxies need to work on. But that also just comes with maturity as well. But take a look at the attack. Uh, the match stats on your screens here 28 attack points for the farm fresh foxies and 47 on the side of the signal hd spikers you see that huge disparity but take a look at the blocking department the aces four blocks 10 aces for the signal hd spikers and when you look at the opponent airs this is almost clean volleyball coming from both squads but it's where the attacking is needed in terms of a improvement for the farm fresh foxy because they don't commit that many errors they just need more attacks in the scoring department and it doesn't help that your opponents are playing a cleaner game yes. compared to you 10 errors for three sets obviously that's very impressive and it meets the quota of jamie la victoria <laughs> next game here inside the field sports arena we have the next dead chameleons taking on the strong group athletics so Stay tuned for more of our Premier Volleyball League of Filipino Conference for Kyla Castillo and Jamie Victoria. My name is Mix Gomez, and thank you for joining us in the first game for today.